Hey everybody, Victor here with uh, Light vs. Darkness. We are going to give uh, more random, uh, uh, un unstructured thoughts on playing uh, KOTOR, a.k.a. Knights of the Old Republic. Okay, this is uh, Light vs. Darkness. Hello everyone who has no idea who I am. Uh, Victor, do you want to start? <laughs> sure. Um, I thought we'd start by talking about, uh, you know, kind of our, our actual gaming experience. Uh, for in my case, uh, like, I started playing, when I, I played through this a couple of times incompletely, uh, before actually finishing it, I started out trying to do a completely good character, but I got so annoyed with his, his insipid, um, weakness is, ba is basically what I interpreted it as. He was always, like, bribing people to stop, to, to, um, instead of fighting them, and that mm -hmm. got on my nerves, so I just, uh, decided to... Start over, create a new character called called him uh, uh, Kill Death Stab, and went on my way there. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, that character, I I went the other direction entirely, and the character just ended up being so imbalanced in like its abilities that I um, that I a little after a little bit later I actually um, went back, created a new character, and you know started again. Uh, with a little bit more knowledge, and that went pretty well. It, I also had the improved cheats, you know. So, well, I I didn't use any cheats because I'm not a cheater. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I've started the game about. Well, actually, I've played not through the whole game, but I've started from the start and gotten at least about halfway about uh, thirteen times. About eleven of of those times were actually um. Uh, life side. I, I don't really know why I always go there. Maybe the whole. Um, I think the like the life side force powers are better because they work on you and the enemy can't resist them. But anyway, I'll, I'll get back more on that later. Um, yeah, I've I've played the game many many times. Mostly uh, light side. I um, I guess that's just who I am. I'm just a nice guy and I like being light side. It uh, or maybe because I, I'm the protagonist, I immediately go. I guess this person's going to be a good guy, so I'll just roll with that. And I always feel pretty uncomfortable when I uh, force persuade someone to give me money and then shoot them with lightning. It makes me feel <laughs> cold inside. Yeah, there was, like, one thing I could never do, no matter what I was trying to go for in the playthrough, is I could never agree with any of the racist characters on Tardis, for in instance. That that's I, I'm willing to kill a bunch of sand people, as previously stated several times. But, yeah, racism is a little outside of my league. Okay. Yeah, stuff like that. By the way, have you finished the game uh, with Evil? Um, I think so. I've, I've only finished the game about two or three times, because uh, uh, when you... Oh, wait, uh, um, are we going to be talking about spoilers? Cause that's oh, like... yeah, yeah, f uh, full spoilers uh, on, huh. on every part of the game here. We're totally allowed. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, at the end when you verse uh, Darth Malik, that is an incredibly hard uh, uh, boss, I guess you could say. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, being uh, light side is the easiest way to go because you can strengthen yourself when, if you, like, use force lightning on Darth Malik, he pretty much resists it. So you're pretty much useless when you're dark side, when you're, when you're up against him. So that's, that, that's usually what I go for. True. The one, uh, the one advantage to the dark side, by the way, uh, in that fight, is that you can actually cut it in about about in half by killing those um, those those captured Jedi. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, the... did, I, I did hear about that. Yeah. So that that's that's I guess the um, windfall there. Hmm. As for the uh, dark side ending versus the light side ending, uh, it does seem like they put a little less into it, or maybe they just figured there was less to it. But it did feel a little bit less climactic, you know. I n I never really liked the uh, endings after you defeat Darth Malik because in in the light side you're on uh, that unknown planet. I I don't know its name, and it's just sort of this cheesy generic. Yeah, uh, yay, we've won, and I wouldn't have done it without all of my crew. Thank you. Here's a medal. End of game. With and with the dark side, it's pretty much the same thing. You're just. Uh, on the planet, on top of a a building thing, talking to a bunch of Sith, and it's just like, I'm I'm evil now, and you have to do what I say. So 
after you, you defeat Lord Malik, the game just sort of cuts off there and goes into a sort of uh, generic uh, plot thing there. For, for me, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess I wouldn't expect too much else besides that. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I found it pretty satisfying. It was it was your standard. It was basically supposed to be reminiscent, I think, of um, New Hope. I think how that ended. It, yeah. In fact, it, it seemed a little too much to be cribbing from that one because uh, even little touches like the droid beeping and, and uh, the Wookiee just sort of growling out something and you're left trying to figure out just what he decided to yell at this award ceremony. Um, things like that maybe seemed a bit derivative, but all, altogether, I was like, eh, basking in the afterglow. Yeah, yeah. That made not, it sound a little sexual, that. but... Mm. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah... Now, a thought on cheating. Um, <laughs> with the, I mentioned that if you level up too high too fast, you, um, you don't get to be a Jedi. Mm. The thing is, you still have to go through all the Jedi training stuff. Um, and it's, it's just a... I don't think it was intentional by the, um, by the authors of the yeah. game or the developers. But it would have been funny, I think, if they had actually gotten um, uh, that little Yoda-like character... To, to scold you if, if it's like, well, we would have let you become a Jedi, but uh, since you decided to level up to level 20, um, screw you then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, just as a little uh, uh, trivia here, you know uh, Master Rook, the bald guy mm -hmm. in, in the uh, council thing? Yep. Uh, he, he's voiced by Ed Asner, who did, the, uh, who did Carl from Up, if you didn't already, already know that. No, I, I did not. But that actually, I, I remember their voices, and that's, that's very amazing. Yeah, just a little trivia for you. That's that that's funny. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, okay, so um, now I guess we can go on to random thoughts about this game. Uh, one I would like to point out is the, um, is that I have discovered something about the Twileks, if that's how you pronounce them. Uh, I think it's Twilek, but what whatever. Twilek, whatever. Um. They have a term that is more widely used um, for more definitions than uh, aloha is for Italian. Muka shaka paka apparently means, hello, goodbye, nice doing business with you, I'm going to destroy you, could you look for this kid, and just about anything else you might need. Yeah. Uh, what I'm referring to, for those of you not entirely familiar with KOTOR, is that the, they, use, um, they use repeated phrases in uh, in supposedly foreign languages, you know other other planetary languages, and for the Twi'leks, <laughs> Mukashaka Paka is is the one is the big one that everybody keeps repeating over and over again. For some reason, mm. that got on my nerves. <laughs> uh, it it um, the whole alien speaking over and over again, it with the same uh, s sentences. It wasn't. Uh, a good thing, but it wasn't overly distracting. Uh, with when you're talking to like the cell cat, where it's pretty much them like choking on something, and you can't really understand. Them. Uh, it, it didn't really. You can't really hear what they're saying, but it's just about a bunch of ifs and cons and barks, and you just sort of um, sort of roll with it. It's. Uh, I guess it was just a way why we're saying we can't get enough voice actors, so let's just make a random noise and place that over and over again all the all the alien. But it, it wasn't it wasn't distracting. You could still sort of go with it. Oh yeah yeah. It's um I guess the only real problem I had with it besides besides it occasionally getting repetitive is um is I think maybe it's just because of my reading speed, but they seem to place play some of the sound to accompany the words a little too long. They had the subtitles that I could read in like five seconds and then mm. they'd go on going <laughs> for like 30 or 40 seconds. What, what was that? Was that Cellcath? Was that... That was my... People? <laughs> it's anybody you want. You know... Anyway. 